Hey, this is David with Ultimate Survival Tips. We're here at Blade Show, and I had a great opportunity to get together and interview Creek Stewart. Now, you guys might not know Creek, but he's been around for a while doing survival stuff. He's got a survival school. And the way that I came uh, in contact with Creek was through his really cool book, Build the Perfect Bug Out Bag. What we're going to talk about in this session is how to pick a good survival knife. Creek's got some gear here, and just go ahead and tell the guys what, what you think they ought to look for in a survival knife. Well, first of all, yeah. man, thanks for having me on. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, awesome. I've got, I brought my personal survival knife with me today. Okay. Um, what do you got there? This is the Blackbird SK5. It's made by Ontario Knife Company, designed by... Oh, I've never touched one. Can I touch it? Yeah, absolutely. Designed by Paul Scheider from Hedgehog Leatherworks. That's this fancy sheath here. Nice balance. So Very nice. And it's yeah. light, too. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and that's a, that's a key component. You don't want uh, size matters yeah. in survival knives. You don't want something too big. You know, that's bulky, that when you lean down on the ground, snubs the ground, you know, so you want to be able to do detailed, very detailed work, but you want to be able to beat on it too, you know, you yeah. want to be able to baton through wood and chop firewood and, you know, so size matters. You don't, 10 inches is a really good overall length, okay. you know, this is a five so inch So tip the blade. butt, 10 inches. Yeah, tip yeah. the butt, 10 inches. Now, why would you say that? What were you thinking there? I've used a lot of survival knives, man. Okay. I've used everything from big buoy knives to small little, you know, little two inch blade knives. And I'll be honest with you, man, this five inch blade is really about that perfect balance between being able to beat it yeah. and yep. being able to carve little detailed snares. And it's big enough to be a beast and it's small enough to be your best friend at camp as well. Okay. Size matters. Okay. Yeah. Uh, feature number two, as you're looking for a survival knife, you want one that is fixed blade. Okay, mm -hmm. you don't you don't want to you don't want a folder. Okay, for your survival knife. Do you carry your knife like that all the time? I do. Yeah. Do you really? I just kind of like it up in my chest. Okay, you don't live in New York City, I take. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I <laughs> okay, live in the yeah. sticks, man. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, you know, whenever you get a folder versus a fixed blade, you know, all folders have a hinge. Okay. So it's a weak point. Yeah. You know, so you want a knife that's going to perform in the worst of the worst conditions and you don't want to, you don't want to weak it. You sure. don't want a weak yeah. point. Along those same lines, you see how you see this metal all the way through here. Yep. You see that full tang. Full tang. Yep. That's what we call a full tang versus a partial tang or a rat tail tang. When you're using and abusing this knife, there is no knife that is more durable than a full tang blade. Just much more stable, less likely to break, less likely, likely to come loose from the handle because this bliss steel right here is a major component to this handle. So full tang is super important. I like a really simple knife. Okay. You know, you can see this is really simple. You know, yep. there's nothing, doesn't look no, like a movie no serrations, prop. Huh? You know, I'm not, you know, that's a personal choice. Okay. You know, some people like serrated yeah. and some, some people, people hate them. And some people hate oh them. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, I know. You wouldn't believe the <laughs> debate that I have going on on our channel and yeah. the website. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, it's a personal preference. You know, they have their place in the world. I prefer a smooth blade, simply non serrated, yeah. simply because it's much easier to keep sharp. Okay. And much easier to sharpen the field. You don't have okay. to have a separate sharpener for the serrations. And for bushcraft too, because you want that leverage point close to the handle, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Man, you try to do feather sticks yeah. with a serrated edge and you might as well just crawl under a table and suck your thumb. Just choose them up, yeah. man. You just yeah. cut them yeah. down through there. Yeah. yeah, exactly. One of the last features I really like about a knife is I like for it to have a solid pommel, mm -hmm. this kind of butt area because I can't tell you how many instances I've needed to pound something in, you know, yep. whether it's a steak or whether I'm, you know, pounding something down, you know, a nice solid pommel versus something with a point yep. or a big knob on the end or something funky, okay. yeah. you know, is really comes in handy. So, you know, those are kind of my top, you know, if I had to just list out a few top features, those would definitely be at the top of the list. Okay. Dude, that's really cool. Just tell us a little bit about your uh, survival school. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm got, a, you got the logo and yeah, oh, that's you know, a sweet shirt. I'm I mean, all professional today. Yeah, <laughs> you know, don't get used to it. This is your working. <laughs> your, your, uh, well, you did a session today in the too. Office today. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I did a survival skills session on EDC. Today. How was it? How was it? Good. Other people Packed there? out. Standing Packed out. Only. Awesome. Yeah. So it went really well. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the survival school. Yeah. Well, it's Willow Haven Outdoor. Okay. Um, we teach survival and preparedness skills, everything from primitive to modern, you know, how to build a bug out bag to how to make fire by sticks. Yeah. 
We hold one day, two day, three day courses. Okay. And uh, we're in central Indiana. So we have people come from all over the country and in fact all over the world to attend courses there. So it's, nice. it's an awesome time. We're busy until the end of November. Nice. Can I come? Sure, absolutely. Okay. On the house. I'm there. We'll bring a video camera. We'll do some cool stuff. Oh, Sound man. Good? Yeah, absolutely. We'll, we'll definitely do some ultimate survival tips. All right, man. Awesome. All right. Thank you. For your convenience, I put links to Creek's books, his survival school, and his sweet knife in the video description on YouTube. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more gear reviews, survival tips, and survival news, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. While you're there, grab our monthly survival e-mag, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to get the latest news and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contests we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side, and remember, be prepared, because you never know.